Hey friends, we're Kaylee. And John. We're the Nixon Pack. We're realtors, home designers, and... DIY. I try so hard to give them a line, guys. It's, it's I get three sometimes. letters, okay? Let's live with it. Today, we are heading to the most picturesque town. We are looking at a gorgeous bed and breakfast on the lake. We've got 2019 design trends that you've been waiting for. Plus, we have a super cool DIY if you've got house guests coming, and... And we have robes. And I don't know if they were closed underneath or not. Oh gosh, I guess we're gonna find out. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Lady of the Lake. And you're not talking about me. No, not today. But this is such a dreamy little spot in Scanning Atlas. I love how they welcome us in with this great area you've got. Look at this. We I have a glass of champagne. Or mimosas. We have arrived. John, I don't I'd get in trouble. That, that's way too much fun. <laughs> I want to check in. Look how cozy this space feels. So you have not one, but two sitting areas. Pocket doors oh, separating both look rooms. At the charm and oh. the fireplace. I stoked that for you. Thank you no, very much. It's a much. gas fireplace, which is amazing. <laughs> Here is a great opportunity to live in the most picturesque town. You've got this gorgeous old Victorian home built in 1890 for so much charm. And you can live for free because we are talking about potentially having a bed and breakfast. This is an operating bed and breakfast. They've got wonderful occupancy rates. You know all about that. 98% occupancy. New also, October, right? Yes, and also Kaylee wanted to mention everything in this house goes with the purchase price. Isn't that incredible? Because we've sold a lot of our homes where they're like, oh, could we buy, you know, the bed or could we buy your dining set? In this house, with this opportunity, this business opportunity, you can buy everything with it for the list price. So everything from sheets to glasses to, you know, tableware, everything comes with the house. Kaylee might throw me in. I make a Today, great pancake. Yes. And what I know you really love. Well, I love to eat. But... The breakfast. So this is where your guests would stay to come down and have breakfast mm -hmm. from the bed and breakfast. And the kitchen will show you next where all the magic happens. Yeah, absolutely. And I've heard that these meals rival Krebs. Yeah, I was actually going to rent a room just so that we could have breakfast tomorrow. All right, get in the kitchen. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know, for a home built in 1894, this feels so upgraded and modern. Look at this gorgeous white kitchen. And also the washer and dryers here because you always have to make sure you have fresh linens. Yes. I feel like you would be very good at this job. I think we're moving in. You know what's so cool is this is such a great opportunity to live in the home because the owner's quarters are right here off from the kitchen. Right. And yet you live for free while you are hosting and entertaining cool people from around the country. What a, what a unique opportunity. On past walkthrough Wednesdays, you've seen us go through homes with wallpaper and typically we're trying to tell you how to remove it. But with this one, I don't want you to leave it because bold patterned wallpaper, particularly floral wallpaper, is in for 2019 and it really just fits the vibe of this whole B&B &B space, doesn't it? I know of something else that's in and I'm pretty excited about it. Four poster beds. You, you've always loved a four poster bed. Yes. And I think they're so classic and beautiful. So those are in as well. We have a third thing that's in. No, we don't. Matte black. Yeah. I wasn't going to talk about that. Okay, so you told us what's in, what's coming out. You guys, I'm really sad about this one, macrame. I have been loving all of the natural elements that macrame brings, but it is out for 2019. Also, indigo blue, be still my heart. I'm, I'm devastated to hear I think that. we need to sell our house right now. I think so too. The last one, this is really gonna gut you. Grays, gray paints are out for 2019. We have to change our son's name. Is this Mary? So, all three rooms, are named after the previous female owners. Mm -hmm. So you have Mary, Stella, oh, I forgot. We'll have to introduce you to her in a minute. But what I really love is that each of the rooms have their own bathroom, mm -hmm. have their own closets, and all of the accoutrements to make it feel really cozy, really special, and homey. Yeah, so we're on the second floor, and it oh, it looks over, scanning ass, scanning ass. And the view from all the rooms is unbelievable. I can see a peak right here of Scanning Atlas Lake. You've got a park across the street and the location is phenomenal. So John, you introduced us to Stella. Yes. I love I love her vibrancy, all of the pops of blue and you, yellow in there. You mentioned the view of the lake yes. out this window. You have to mention the view of the patisserie 
that has the most delicious cupcakes, John, and I have a problem. I said, John, if you don't do a good job today, no cookies for you. So the jury's still out on That's that what one. I work for. Here is Dieta. I really like her. This one's really sweet. And down the hall, yes, you can't miss this. Nice Coffee little beverage in the bar. Absolutely, so you don't have to go all the way downstairs if you're not ready to really wake up yet. This is the room I want to put dibs on. This is the loft, and you'll notice it's not just one room. We'll take you upstairs in a moment, but it's got a really spacious bathroom. This is an awesome little sitting area, but if you have maybe family, you have a child right. coming with you. And you also have a separate entrance or exit down to the kitchen. Right First dibs on breakfast. Aptly named the loft, we are coming up the stairs to really like the best part of the house in my opinion, rooms wise, because there's so much space up here and wait till you see the view. Look at all of this space, John, you don't have any cause to leave. You've got this gorgeous four poster bed, all these different seating areas and hello, a kitchenette. Yeah, stove top, sink, refrigerator, microwave, coffee. To I'm be honest, in. we don't need to leave. We don't do the cleaning. <laughs> we don't do the breakfast. True. We don't do the laundry. Yep. And if you go outside, you don't even need to talk to me. Where do I sign? All right, I want you to see something extra special. Ooh. Get over here. Oh, I'm coming. Yes, First boss. of all, is this the coziest little reading space? It is. Well, I mean, it's more of a lay down space. Look at that. Guys, Absolutely a spectacular view. And what a sweet spot to take it in. <laughs> you stalled, I couldn't come off that. Something we've always done, whether we had somebody staying on our couch or in an actual bedroom, we like to put together a basket to welcome them with all the things they might have forgotten from home. And this place puts our basket to shame, that's for sure. Yeah, they have every box checked. But when you're having people come over and you want to make them feel comfortable or uncomfortable, <laughs> Kaylee likes to put on a nice greeting basket and we greet them at the front door with robes. John tries. I, I don't let him. I have but nothing else on. Things that you want to include, the obvious, you know, you might forget your toothbrush, razors. We like to include things that people might not feel comfortable asking for or might just need, you know. So one of them is Alka-Seltzer. When you serve that big saucy dinner and the yeah. person can't breathe in bed, they want to grab the old Alka-Seltzer. And when you're traveling, always important to keep up with your vitamin C. And something else that we like to do, little welcome notes to let them know that we're so glad that we're there with the Wi-Fi code. Who wants to be Yes, what's the code, what's the code, what's the code? Put it bedside, you don't have to talk to people. So what do you think? Is wallpaper in or out for you? Because it's, you know, it gets a little tricky. I, would you like it? I was just concerned on what breakfast they're gonna serve tomorrow, the bed and breakfast. <laughs> I know you were. That was such a great house. I can't wait to show them what we've cooked up for next week. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. We would be so grateful. And if you did like any of our nuggets in this video, if you give us a little thumbs up, we would love it. We appreciate you guys more than you know, and we can't wait to see you next week. Refrigerator, microwave, coffee. I promised I wouldn't say the word yes. while we did this, but yeah. this is no hotel. We weren't going to mention the word hotel. This is the... <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> was that, what was that, a thing? Oh, you're coming in. <laughs> <laughs>